Hey Forge members, Anthony here and welcome to the first video in our React tutorial series. I'm making this series because when I was trying to learn React a little bit ago, I noticed that there weren't a lot of tutorials that sort of just jumped straight into the code and showed you how things work on the code level. I'm someone who learns a lot by just getting my hands dirty and seeing how things work firsthand, and that's exactly my goal for this tutorial series. So this video is just going to be a brief overview of what React is, why you should learn it, and why it's useful, and then in the next video we're going to start coding. So React is a front-end JavaScript library. It was open sourced by Facebook around five years ago, and it is what is known as a single page application. Uh, a lot of other single page application frameworks and libraries out there exist. Some of the more popular ones are Angular and Vue, and what single page application really means is that you only have one HTML page for your entire web app. Sounds a bit confusing. The reason you only have one HTML page is because everything in that one page is sort of divided into these things we call components. So if we go over here and look at this website that was created with React, we can see that it's just a basic website. It has a header, it has some content in the middle, and it has a footer. Each one of these things would be sort of its own component. So for example, this header itself would be considered a component. And then within that header, we would have, you know, the logo, we would have um, a nav bar where you can link to different things, you would have a login button, this content, so this whole entire uh, piece of content in the middle here between the header and the footer would be considered a component. And then within that component, you can have multiple other components. So say, for example, this whole chunk right here, uh, open, source web app all the way down to like maybe where the buttons are, that could be one whole component. And then within it, you have sort of like a header, you have some links, you have a description, you have some buttons. And uh, what components allow you to do is it allows you to create a web page architecture that um, is very organized and allows you to nest uh, these components. So let's take an example from this website. Here in this section, we have a couple of different cards, and each one of these cards has a header or a title. As you can see here, it has a subtitle and then a little description. In regular HTML, if you wanted to create something like this, it would be really redundant. You would copy and paste the code for every single one of these cards uh, manually and replace the information within them. If you've known, if you've ever just used HTML straight up, that's usually what happens. Now, what this component-based architecture allows you to do is make that a bit more programmatic. Um, what you can do is you can create a card component, and that is where you can put all your sort of HTML and your CSS uh, stylings and containers. And in your main uh, HTML component, you can create a card component and then just simply put in the details you want and have that sort of display on your page. So in this example, let's say we want to make a card that has a title that uh, says async, a subtitle that says by our team, and then there's a description that says all of this stuff. All we have to do in our uh, HTML component that we want to display this in is create a card uh, element and then set the title equal to async, the subtitle equal to by our team, and the description equal to whatever we want. And we can do this multiple amounts of times. Um, and this isn't real React code, by the way, this is just sort of to illustrate how things work, but this is just one of the things that React does that makes coding a front-end, coding a front-end a lot more programmatic and a lot more easier. So. Here's an example where we have an um, inner component within a component within our main component. Now let's say we change, we dynamically change some information in this inner component. In a traditional HTML page, whenever you want to display something different on the page, you would have to link to a different HTML page that displays that. The beauty of this component uh, style architecture and this sim uh, single page application architecture is that when something on the page updates, the only thing you have to re-render into the page 
is that component. So in here, I have a very simple example of a counter. Um, apologies for my poor uh, drawing skills, but let's just say we have this component, um, and the component is pretty much a counter. So we have a, a little piece of uh, text that keeps track of what our count is, and then we have a button that lets us um, make the count minus by one and uh, increment the count. So if I were to cl click this button to increment the count uh, to one, Instead of redisplaying a whole new web page or reloading the entire page and displaying the count as one, the only thing uh, that will re-render and update in our HTML page is this counter component, which means we don't have to load in uh, the header again, we don't have to lo load in the footer again, and it really just helps with the performance of websites overall. That's just a very brief description of uh, what React is and sort of how it works on a very high level overview. Um, if you're still a bit fuzzy on things, don't worry. We're going to jump into code in our next video and you'll be able to see how everything works. We're going to be creating a counter application. The only prerequisites if you want to follow along is making sure that you have Node and NPM installed in your machine. If you don't, I'm leaving a link in the description where you can learn how to install those two things. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.